Hi friends, it's your certified health and fitness coach, Caroline Jordan, bringing you a ballet-inspired leg workout that will help you strengthen, shape, and tone your lower half. Before we get started, don't forget to help support the videos you use and love by becoming a channel Patreon. I would love to have you as part of my CJ Fit Squad community and by my side in supporting the message of sharing movement as medicine with the planet. Patreon links are included in the description box below. So join us today for, and become a Patreon member. All right, it's time to strengthen, shape, and tone your legs with ballet-inspired exercises. Meet me on your mat. Our first move is a leg circle. Lay on your back with your hands by your side and extend your legs up in the air, stretching through the hamstrings. Place your arms on the floor, leave your head down or scoop up and look in between the thighs. 45 seconds, here we go. Lower the legs, open out and click the heels together. Now as you move, I want you to connect your mind to your muscles and recruit every part of your body to work for you. The mind-muscle connection and intentional movement is a huge piece of a successful workout. Keep breathing, and remember, you can always rest your head on the floor. Move at a speed that feels appropriate for you today, and just go with the flow. Listen to your body, and have fun with exercise. Good, and relax. From here, bring your heels together and your knees apart. Again, rest your head on the floor or take your hands behind your head and scoop your shoulders up, coming into a curl. You're going to press your legs out, point your feet, and then bring your legs in and squeeze. We press and point, in and squeeze. I want you to press your heels together as tightly as you can and let your head rest in your hands if you're choosing the shoulder crunch option. Good, how are we feeling? Squeeze your bum, your inner thighs, your quads, your stomach muscles. This ballet-inspired workout leaves no part of your body unturned. Keep breathing. Whew. Let your jaw relax. You're doing great. And relax. All right, on your side, let's move into some develop a leg. So rest your head in your hand, turn your heels out, engage your stomach muscles, top hand on the floor. We go in, kick, and lower. Here we go. Now I'm no prima ballerina, but that doesn't mean that I can't enjoy ballet inspired exercises. We can all do dance together. Dance doesn't have a requirement to enter. So just because you don't wear a tutu, or practice plies on a regular basis, doesn't mean you can't benefit from ballet-inspired exercises. Breathe. Nice job. Can you kick your leg a little bit higher? Squeeze your tummy a little bit more. You should be feeling everything right now. Good, relax. Let's bring your knees together and your feet together, coming into our next exercise, the clam. Now, for this exercise, you still need to engage the core. Don't get sloppy on me here. Ready? We're going to lift the top knee up and lower it back down. So, the more you use this video, the stronger you'll get in your hips, your glutes, your adductors, and your leg muscles want to encourage you to keep using this video consistently because consistency is key. So abs tight, open that knee and try to engage your hips and buns. If you need to, you can take your hand, place it on your muscles and make sure that they're working. Give them a little bit of a pat. <laughs> well done. Breathing and relax. Last exercise on this side is a star plank. So form on the floor, lift up through your lats and your core. You're going to bring your hips up off the floor, extend your top leg, 
parallel, and hold. Now, you want your hip bones to stack and you want to keep your ribs in so everything is working, your entire body. Right now, I know you're feeling things, so give yourself a positive thought, a note of encouragement. You can do it. Good. If you see shaking, it's because your trainer is right there with you. I'm feeling it with you, and I'm so glad we're doing this as a CJ Fit Squad community. Ooh, good. Try not to let that leg drop. So if you see your top leg, you want it parallel to the floor. Nice. I can see your effort and your sweat. I hope you leave me a comment and tell me how much your butt loves this workout. Whew, relax, let's switch over to the other side for our developing legs. So extend your legs straight, let your head rest in your hand, and we're gonna get a little Jane Fonda with it, okay? So abs tight, ready when you are, turn the heels out. We go in, reach, and lower, good. This is the perfect workout when you're short on time, but you want to make the most of what you've got. It's also a great workout if you're rehabbing an injury. Because a lot of times, coming back from an injury means strengthening your muscles and focusing on mindful movement and proper movement patterns. So if you're healing from something, I'm so proud of you for being here, for taking it slow, and for coming back strong. Good. In, kick, and down. I hope you're sweating. <laughs> and relax. Let's go into our clamshell. So bring the knees in. We're going to keep our heels together. Hip bones stacked. Core is engaged. And all we'll do mindfully is open that top knee and take it back down. Are you ready? Here we go. Lift and lower. This is my weaker side, so I'm just going to take a little more mental energy to focus on getting it to work a little bit more. It's impossible to be perfectly balanced. No one is symmetrical, but it's always good to know your body and to take care of you. Good. Know what you need and focus on helping yourself meet that need. Hips are working. <laughs> it always makes me happy when I feel my hips. Nicely done. Our star plank is next, the hardest one. So bring your forearm on the floor, lift up from your lats, push your elbow into the mat, and then from here we reach up, top leg is going parallel to the mat. If you'd like, you can extend that top leg up over your head, but try to make sure you keep everything engaged. Press your hips forward, feel your glutes, take a break if you need to. I'd rather you do it well with good form than rush through it and get sloppy at the end. Oh my goodness, it is so much better on the second side, isn't it? Yes, it is. We only have a few exercises left, so stay with me. And remember, positive thoughts for positive results. You're doing great. Good, keep pressing your bottom hip forward. Bottom hip forward, top leg up. I'm shaking. My buns are on fire. <laughs> oh, relax. All right, meet me on all fours. So we're in a tabletop position, hands are underneath shoulders, and we're going into straight leg kicks. So you're going to extend one leg back, lengthen through the spine, and we just reach that back leg, lift and lower. Now, I have clients that ask me what the proper position is, and the thing that I like to tell them is wherever you feel the muscles you're meant to feel. Everybody's body moves differently, so right now I want you to engage your abs and try to focus on squeezing your butt. You don't want to go so high that it dips into the low back. So as long as you squeeze the glutes and keep your core in, you'll feel what you need to feel. Good. And Feel free to reach out if you need a virtual coaching session just to help you with good form. Can you lengthen your leg a little bit more? And try to use your abs and arms. It's a full body move. Good. And relax, switch sides. So we extend, other leg out, lengthen and lift. So nice, long, strong workout. 
pressing into the floor, back leg, we kick up and down. So just because you're working legs doesn't mean your abs and your arms get to take a break. They're here for the party. Can you kick your glutes a little bit more? Lift it up. Good. You promise you'll comment below and tell me if you feel this? It may not look like some crazy intense workout, but I think that it definitely works for muscle engagement. Remember, for longer workouts without ads, you always have my workout video library. So check the link in the description box if you want something that does legs, abs, arms, all of it together in one workout. Whew! Relax. All right, roll back onto your back for our bridge. So feet are flat, knees point towards the ceiling. You're going to tuck the pelvis under heavy rib cage. And all we're doing is rolling up into our bridge position and lowering down. Now I'd like you to choose if you want to do either a flat back bridge, which is more of a hinge, or an articulating bridge, which is where we go from neutral, tuck, roll up, roll down, return to neutral. So feel free to choose a bridge variation. As long as you're feeling your buns and your hamstrings, we're in business, baby. You could actually even do both of them. You could do the hinge version and the articulating version. So many options. I love variety. Remember, variety is also the key to results. Consistency and variety. Squeeze your butt at the top. Oh my goodness, I feel less working. <laughs> and relax. All right, single leg bridge. One leg extends out. I'd like you to lift up and lower down. Are you ready? You're ready. Here we go. We go up and down. Now, some clients tell me they'll feel this in their lower back. If that's the case, play with your leg that's extended out. Try bringing the knee in towards the chest in this option. It's a little more of a tuck, less range of motion. It might work for you. You could also do a kickstand bridge where the toe is on the floor. So play around with the leg height to feel more in your glutes and less in your back. I hope that was a helpful tip. This one, that always helps me a lot. Modify my bridge to feel the right spots. Good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You never knew 45 seconds could be so long. We're going to switch sides. Extend the other leg, tuck the pelvis, ribs in. Are you ready? Play with your leg position. Choose one that's right for you. 45 seconds. In three, two, and go. Up and down. So again, lots of top leg options. Straight leg here, knee into chest. You can try what we call the kickstand version with your toe on the floor. Go where you can feel your glutes the most. Because if you work out on my channel often, you know the secret to a strong life is a strong butt. It's true. It's true. The stronger your glutes are, the less likely you are to have injuries from weak glutes. <laughs> Fact of the day. All right. We only have one exercise after this. Only one. Relax. All right, the last exercise is inspired by my dance roots. It's a little bit of a bridge dance. Had to finish on a fun note. So lift up into a bridge, find your stomach, and you're just going to drop one hip and drop the other hip. So we go one butt, other butt. Little rock of the hips. It's so fun. I used to do this a lot. I did have a dance background, so I grew up dancing. And we always did this bridge variation, so it makes me happy to share it with you now. It's also fun to finish with something that's uplifting for not just your booty, but for your mind. Good, breathe. How are we feeling? You feeling things? That's a good thing. All right, even it out. Come up. Give it one final squeeze and lower down. Bring your knees into your chest. Give yourself a hug 
and then roll up into a butterfly stretch position, feet together, knees apart. Hinge forward at the hips, reach your chest long over your legs, and give yourself a moment of gratitude for your health and the gift of movement. I'm so proud of you for completing this quick and effective ballet-inspired leg workout. Once again, to help support this channel, the videos you love and use, please become a Patreon member. Patreon links are included in the description box below, and it would mean so much to have your support and to have you as part of my CJ Fit Squad community. So join us today, and I'll see you again soon for another great workout at CarolineJordanFitness.com.